fingers in the air. Let's do it together. Come on, help me out. Teachers as well. Parents as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sumo! We started small last year thanks to the Galway Education Centre in Bernard Kirk where we ran a small event. I think we had about 24 robots and uh, maybe 9 or 10 schools. Uh, now again with the continued help of PDST and of course with the funding from uh, SFI uh, we have now come to this event where today we had 68 robots uh, competing over up to 36 rounds. Galway Education Centre through Robotics Ireland has been delighted to be involved with the Mini Sumo Robot Competition. It adds to the portfolio of robotic events that we currently run and organise in Ireland, which range from Junior First Lego League for 6 to 9 year olds, First Lego League for 9 to 16 year olds, now the Mini Sumo Robot Competition for second level, and also we have a third level Mini Sumo Robotic Competition. The fact that we have a co-sponsor in this in Science Foundation Ireland has guaranteed that this year we were able to double the number of students involved and schools involved. And that has really been a fantastic opportunity, particularly the fact that, that we now have over 40% of the participants coming from girls' schools. I'm one of the judges here today. Um, I was judging the robot design and performance category. So uh, I brought along classmates, uh, went into them, uh, about two weeks ago and said look guys do you want to be involved in this it's something new it's something cool and to be honest a lot of them were amazed at the standard that was there I mean we're seeing young people do um, do things that we're finding difficult in college which is amazing that, that, they, that they get the opportunity to, to try that out. I was one of the judges today on the actual design of the robot and the actual programming so what we were looking for was innovation in the, the actual design but most of the kids, most of the students actually decided to, to make their own design to their own specifications, to what they wanted their robot to look like. So they personalised it. Uh, robotics combines creativity and design and designing the robot. Uh, combines mechanical and electrical engineering in building it and uh, making the control circuit. Uh, combines computer programming and writing the program for it. It's no good bringing a robot to this competition that, you know, works once. The winners uh, work every single round, and that is a massive achievement. Champions! Give the guys a round of applause! We spent about three months on our robots, and we had to uh, design them. We had to design them very well because that's one of the main parts. Then we had to manufacture and assemble, and programming was the last bit. I mean, after the first two rounds, you could see there was so many robots with like such amazing programming, and the designs again were just amazing. A huge step up from last year again. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, Sumo! What we're really trying to do here is marry serious education and entertainment. We really have had for the last number of years at all the robotics competitions is fun ourselves in looking and creating an event that young people really want to come back to. A lot of them, after the event the last day, were tweeting about how much they enjoyed it and they were looking forward to 2015.